Hey guys, so um, today this look is, I know, pretty strong, especially my lips, but um, the eyes-wise, I just used my Sugar Pill Cosmetics, which I just received in the mail, this, the round ones. Um, and basically, I I'm absolutely love them. They're really bright, really pigmented, and I use the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Eyeshadow Bases. Um, well, Aqua Cream Eyeshadow, they can be used as a base, or I use them on my lips as well. And um, yeah, it's just a really fun look. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm going to start off first applying my base. Um, I'm using this new eyeshadow base. This is from Inglot. Okay, um, it's really very creamy. Very, very creamy. So I'm going to take the slightest amount. Just a little bit. This is too much actually. Just a small amount. And I'm just going to apply over my eye. It's my first time trying it, so I'm not too sure. But so far, I like the texture. It's just a little bit too creamy for my liking. But I realize if you put a small amount, it's not too bad. So I'm just putting a really small amount, and it just it kind of like mattifies all over. So I really like that. So I'm gonna start off with applying the Aqua Cream Eyeshadows from Makeup Forever. I'm using okay. These are the ones I'm using: pink, hot pink, and white. Aqua cream eyeshadows are absolutely fantastic. They're like my favorite products at the moment. So this is number four. It's a strong, shimmery kind of white. And then this is number seven, which is a gorgeous hot pink color. Basically, aqua cream eyeshadows, you can use them on your eyes. You can use them as a base. You can use them on its own as an eyeliner, as a colored mascara, as a lipstick, as a blusher color. Anything. It's just amazing. But they dry fast, so you have to work fast with it. So I'm going to just apply white at the inner half. Not up to my crease, just on my lids, but very quickly blending it out. They're amazing because you can use them on its own just like that. Or you can use them with an eyeshadow base. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so the white is done. I'm going to go on to the hot pink. And a little bit of hot pink also. Just a small amount you need. And just blend it out at the outer half of the lid. So I'm going to apply my highlight. Under my brow bone. And then I'm going to apply the white to be applied at the inner half. And I'm going to use um, just a regular brush. This is from Sephora. Just one of the regular shader brushes. And the white I'm going to use is from Sugar Pill Cosmetics. I actually depotted them into my own palette. So these really big round ones, they're from Sugar Pill. And the colors are amazing. They're so intense. Like really, really bright colors. So I really do like them. So I'm just going to go for the white. It's a really strong matte white. And you want to just slowly um, pat it onto your lids. Just really slowly pat it on. And I'm going to just very slightly bring it up into the crease. Okay. Right, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my pink. I'm using... Um, I love this product. This is from Makeup Show. Um, if you read my blog, there's a current promotion going on for all faces by Sarah fans. So you get like 25% um, off of the regular retail price. And they do international shipping as well. So it's really, really very worth it. Uh, Makeup Show. They're actually a China brand. And the brushes are really good. I got a couple of them. They sent me a couple of brushes. And yeah, I really do like them. They don't shed and they're so soft. So I'm picking some of the hot pink. Uh, this would be the one, the hot pink. Um, the only one thing that I dislike at the moment about sugar pill is that they tend to be really crumbly and you have a lot of fallout so you might want to be careful with that but other than that the colors are fantastic so I'm just using this angled brush and I'm just slightly applying it and blending it and just slightly going into the crease and I'm just putting the colors on so it's really strong Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for this crease brush. This is the Innovi brush. It's just a really um, small tapered brush. 
I'm gonna go for the purple. So this purple is just going at the outer edge here. And I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, so I more or less got the shape that I want. And then now I can just blend and I can just reapply the pink or the white and just blend everything all out. So um, I've basically just done a bit of eyeliner and did my eyebrows and I'm gonna go on to do my lashes. And apply it to my lower lash line. And then finally the purple. And then I'm finally gonna line my waterline. So for the lips, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna go crazy and apply a hot pink color because I'm always doing light neutral colors. So just because I want to show you how you can use the um, aqua cream eyeshadow as an eyeshadow base, as an eyeshadow, you can even use it as a lips, lipstick as I said before. So I'm using a hot pink lip liner. This is Makeup Forever 16C lip pencil. Okay. And then I'm going to go for the hot pink lip um, aqua, aqua cream eyeshadows. I'm actually pretty nervous. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm nervous. I'm not used to such bright colors, but I guess it's okay. Oh wow, look at that. It's like so shimmery. So that's a really strong pink. Um, of course, you need to top it off with a bit of gloss because this tends to dry pretty fast, so you want to keep your lips a bit moisturized. So I applied a bit of gloss and yeah, that's it. Here you go. Um, just a really kind of flirty, pinky, floral kind of look. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.